Hello everyone, Pappy Richard here. Thanks for joining me. If you're a beekeeper, you know how expensive it can be buying all your wooden components for your beehives. But what if you could make some of them components at home? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made some of my own slatted racks by repurposing some shipping containers that I got for free from a local business. So let's get started. If you're watching this video, chances are you already know what a slatted rack is and what they're used for. But just in case you're new to beekeeping, or if you're not really sure what they're used for, I'm just going to take a few minutes and explain how we use them in beekeeping. Now a slatted rack is not an absolute necessity in your beehive. However, a lot of hobbyist beekeepers do use them. They do provide some sort of advantages, and I'll go over them in just a moment. When you set them up, you're going to take the bottom board, put that down first, and then your slatted rack will go on top of it, with the shelf towards the opening of the beehive. On top of that, you'll put your first brood box. I use deep brood boxes. If you use mediums, you can use your medium, but it sits on here like this. It adds an extra two and, two and quarter inches to your beehive space here, giving your bees extra room in the hive. It does help with some congestion and does help prevent some of the bearding. The shelf on top here also shields some of the light from the entrance. The queen bee tends to be shy of light, so when there's light shining in, she tends not to use the bottom of the uh, frames to lay eggs in. This kind of encourages her to do that. Another benefit that I've heard of, uh, it can also help in robbing. When the yellow jackets and uh, other bees come inside, they ten tend to go inside and go right up vertical immediately. Uh, this shelf here gives them a little bit of distance farther to go before they can head vertically for the honey, and uh, that gives the guard bees a little bit more time to engage them. It's also said that the extra space down here in the hive can also help keep the hive cooler in the summer and keep it warmer in the winter. As I mentioned earlier, I get some shipping containers from one of the local businesses. They usually just put them out by the side of the road for anybody to take. It helps them out because they don't have to pay to get it taken away. It helps me out because I can use it to build my beehives. A lot of what comes in the shipping containers are these very nice one by sixes. The actual overall dimensions would be three quarters by five and a half. Perfect for some of our woodenware. If you don't have access to some free shipping containers like I do, and you wanted to go to your home improvement store to buy some lumber, um, I would recommend getting some 1x3s and some 1x4s. They would be perfect for making the slatted racks. Initially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rip these down to 2 and 1 quarter inch pieces. Those will be for the end boards and both sides. And then I'll rip the next one down to 3 and a half inches, and that would be perfect for the, the shelf that we're going to use. After ripping my two and one quarter inch pieces, the remaining piece is three quarter inches wide. I'll be able to use this for the slats. I'm then able to rip two more three quarter inch pieces out of the waist from the three and a half inch piece. I'm now going to use my miter saw to cut the pieces to length. The front and back are 15 and a half inches long. The sides are 19 and 7 eighths inch long. The shelf is also 15 and a half inches long. And the slats are going to be 16 inches. Now it's time to cut the dados in the front and the back. I've set up my dado blade for one quarter inch from the fence and three eighth inch depth. Both the front and the back are the same.
the sides are going to be mirror image of each other so that the shelf can fit into it like this. So just remember that don't cut them the same or you won't be able to get it together right. So you have to cut this one first. We're only going to cut this dado long enough to get this shelf to match up in here. You don't need to take it the entire length of the board. That's why it will be mirror images. To cut the dado in the other side piece, I've set my fence at one and a quarter inches. I've double checked it with the other side to make sure that it will line up. Now I'll go ahead and cut that piece. Now that I have them cut, you can see that they are mirror images of each other. This is where the shelf will fit in. Next we're going to cut the dados on the ends of the sideboards. I've set up my table saw with my 3 quarter inch dado and I put a sacrificial fence on here and butted it right up against the saw blade. Next we'll cut the tenons into the slats. This end will fit into the shelf once we cut our dado into there. I've set my dado blade at one half inch wide by three sixteenth inch high. That will leave a three eighth inch tenon here to fit into the shelf. Now we'll go ahead and cut the dado in the shelf. This will allow the tenon from the slat to fit into here. I've set up my table saw with a 3 8 inch dado. It's set 3 16 of an inch from the fence. I also have my feather board in place here to make the cut a little bit easier. Now you can see the tenon from the slat will fit right inside that dado. Before we move on to assembling the slatted racks, I'd like to ask you for a huge favor. If you're enjoying this video, I'd like you to go ahead and press the like button down here so that it will spread to other people. I really appreciate it. Now that we've cut all our pieces, the only thing left to do is assemble the slatted rack. We'll start by taking the front piece and the shelf. Remember that the dado in the shelf will face away from the front. We'll start with some Type On 2 or any type of waterproof glue. I like to use Type On 2. Put a good bit here on, in the dado. Like your shelf in it, lining it up with the edges. Turn it over and then we'll staple it. Next, we'll take one of the side pieces, matching up the dado with the shelf, like this. Again, we'll add some glue anywhere that the pieces meet. Can never have too much glue, in my opinion. Match those up like this. Stand it on the end. And again, We'll give it some staples. Both there and into the shelf itself. Take your other side piece. Again, a liberal amount of glue where the pieces meet. Sides together. 
and staple away. Now we're ready to install the slats into the shelf. We need to put a generous amount of glue on each slat and insert it into the dado on the shelf. We're going to leave a 3 8 inch space here and then we'll space approximately 11 16th between each one of the slats. I'm going to be making multiple slatted racks today, so I've made a template for the spacing. We're not going to fasten these quite yet, because we need to get them into the other end. Once we have all the slats in place, I found it helpful to have a 2x4 ready to put underneath them. This will make it easier to insert them into the dado onto the back piece. We'll put a generous amount of glue in this dado. We also need to add some glue right to right here. Once the slats are all in place, I can go ahead and staple it. Now I can use my template to make sure my spacing is correct. I'll then nail each slat We'll now check it for square and we can set it aside to dry. So that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when I post more content. And as always, thank you for joining Happy Richard.